Welcome back with Word of the Day, which is... Triclinium. Which is a dining room, especially one containing a couch, extending along three sides of a table for reclining on at meals. So essentially, living rooms in the 21st century. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, anyways, the uncommon noun triclinium comes from late Latin triclinium, straight from Greek triclinium, dining room. A triclinium was more precisely precisely an arrangement of three chaises lounges in the shape of a Greek capital, pi, which, if, which depending on what's going on this year, that may be a hurricane. Um, well, there might be a hurricane named Pi. Anyways, on three sides of a central table for dining, the fourth side was left open for servants or busboys. Triclinian is a compound made up of the Greek and Latin combining form tree or tri for three, as in triangle. That would be triclinium. Yeah. A three-cornered geometric figure, triathlete, and tripod, literally three-footed. Um, Clinian is a derivative of Klein, couch, bed, uh, sick bed. Source of English clinic and clinical. Lying on couches while dining was introduced into Greece in the early 7th century BC from Asia Minor, now western Turkey. The Romans adopted the Greek custom via the Et Etruscans, and the Etruscans and Romans scandalized the Greeks by allowing citizen women, such as wives, to partake to participate in banquets. Um, I'm not sure the name. Which, okay. Um. Anyways, triclinium entered English in the first half of the 17th century. But don't get me wrong, I'm not sure who was scandalizing who's like, I'm not sure what that's meaning by, like, Romans were, de were demonizing Greeks for doing it, or Romans were doing that to um, s um, set the standard for the Greeks. I'm not sure what that's saying there. Um, but anyways, let's hear this one more time. So, with that, that is it. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.